ladies and gents. It's Lisa from To Create a Website. And today I'm going to talk about the new feature in AdSense called Experiments. It's still in beta, as you can see, so there may be some bugs. But what this allows you to do is to do A-B split testing on your AdSense units without editing the code on your site. So you can do all the testing right from here. So if you want to see if red links convert better than blue links or text ads convert better than image ads, you can do all of that right here. So you're going to go to my ads and then click experiments and then click new experiment up here and type a name for it. So let's say you have a unit in your header and you want to see if text versus images, which are called display ads now, you want to see which one converts better. Revenue is your only option. The goal here is to see which unit yields the best RPM, which is earnings per 1,000 views. So down here in the note, you can put something like, I am testing to see if image ads convert better than text or something like that. So now this is where you choose your original AdSense unit that's running right now. So I've just selected one of my units that shows display ads or image ads only. So I want to test to see if image converts better than text or not. So I'll come down here to the variation and then choose text ads. And then I can come down here and adjust the colors and all that for the text. Now, this is not going to work for this experiment, but let's say this unit was only showing text. And let's say the color of the text right now is red but I want to see if blue is going to perform better than red. So this is where I would come down here and change this to another color so I can compare the two colors. But in this case, that's not going to work because these are image ads. So we're doing images versus text here. So when you come down here to traffic split, Google recommends that you leave this checked. And what's going to happen is Google is going to basically do a 50-50 split by sending the same amount of traffic to each unit or, or letting each unit display for the same amount of impressions. And then over time, as one of the units starts to earn more, Google will then shift the traffic to the ad unit that is earning the most to maximize your RPM. So Google is basically running the split behind the scene. Now you can opt to uncheck this box and then choose how often you want the variation ad to display. But if you think about it, if you're doing an experiment and you want to see which unit performs the best, it makes sense to at least start out by showing each unit equally. Otherwise, you're going to get inaccurate results. So that's why Google recommends that you leave this box checked. So now you just click start experiment. OK, so now you'll need to wait about 12 hours or so, maybe not quite that long, 12 to 24 hours. It may vary because Google is now going to start collecting some data for this test. So you can click the title here and after some time you're going to start to see some impressions, how many views each unit has received, how much revenue the units have earned, the comparison, and then a confidence score. The confidence score is the most important part of this section because over time Google will tell you how confident they are one unit is performing over another. And if you hover over this question mark, you'll see that Google recommends you wait until one of the scores reaches at least 95% before you choose which ad you want to use. So after the test has been running for a while, you have the option of choosing either, either the original unit or the variation. So you can do all this without editing your site. Pretty cool. And if you want to stop the experiment, you can click stop and it will remove it from your list of experiments. So if you come back to the home screen, you can click view report as well. These links are not the same. So you get two different reports when you click either the title or view report. So let's click view report. And obviously, because I just set this up, there is no data. And I purposely chose a new experiment, you guys, because it's against the terms and conditions for me to display anything like my CPC or my RPM or my CTR. So rather than, you know, risking violating their terms and having to blur everything out, I just created a brand new unit. So that's basically how it works, you guys. You can now test your AdSense units, your colors, text versus images without having to edit your code. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.